Hello everybody and welcome back to some modded Gungeon. We're jumping in again as Hunter here with our little doggy. I'm going to be showcasing another item here. This is a single use active and I'm not going to go through the description. I'm just going to show you what it does. We use it and it gives our dog a gun. And it gives our dog a random gun. And we got Gunther. So that's pretty insane. I'll be honest, I re-rolled two or three times to see what gun I'd get. And I never imagined getting something quite this insane. Okay, come on, Gunther dog. <laughs> so yes, now our dog just has a gun all the time. He just has a gun. L look, look at this beauty. Now I, I am curious to see if Gunther levels up, because yeah, I I did not expect to get Gunther. Because no matter what gun you give the, the dog gets, it ends up being an infinite ammo weapon. Like no matter what the gun ends up being, but Gunther's a pretty good gun. So. We're gonna see, uh, we're gonna see our dog doing some pretty insane stuff here. Now it seems that he's pretty fixated on the enemy on the other side of that wall there, so it means he can't focus on anyone else. But here we go. <laughs> Look at this. My dog has a gun. This is incredible. <laughs> oh my goodness. Go, my beautiful doggy. Go. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. My goodness. I, all I was told about this, I, I asked some of the people in the modding Discord, what items would you like me to showcase? And all they said is, dog plus battle bot. Hilarity ensues. The battle bot implant, it's called. And they just said hilarity ensues. I didn't. I thought it was going to be an active item that I could use in like for 30 seconds it gave my dog a gun. No, no, no. I just permanently give my dog a gun. He just always has this gun now. I, yeah, I'm really, really curious if Gunther's going to level up here. But a pretty good weapon to get nonetheless. I mean, it's doing good damage. And he seems to be able to fire it much faster than is normal. Which uh, is pretty pretty spectacular. <laughs> Look at this guy go. Oh, this is amazing. And I just... Like, I'm curious about this. Because it seems like... Ooh. Oh, he's barking at it. And he's going to gun it down for us. Um, I'm going to leave him to deal with this this mimic, I think. Okay, there you go. We got Macho Boris. Um, yeah, I gotta say, this could be such a fun run as well, because each time, you're gonna get a different gun. Now, one thing I'm curious about, I, like I said, I tested it a few times to see what exactly guns it would give, because I thought it might be a sort of set few guns or the same gun every time. So I tested it like three or four times, and I didn't get any modded guns. So I'm curious if you can get modded guns, because that would be pretty interesting, but... Even just getting something like Gunther, an S-tier weapon. But also, like, can he get, like, the RC rocket? Can you get, like, an RPG on this guy? Like, damn. I'm I'm really, really curious as to, as to what weapons this little fella can grab. But, I mean, I think for starters, we're in, a, we're in a pretty good spot. I can't believe you destroyed the water barrel there, my little fella. How dare you? <laughs> we have no way of stopping him. He is his own free agent. He cannot be held back. He is the ultimate deliverer of destruction. <laughs> oh, man. I love it. I absolutely love it. I never thought I'd see the day. Uh, I'll buy myself a key. Why not? <laughs> like I don't I don't really need guns anymore. I'm just I'm just kind of along for the ride. Do you know how like when you get a max level junkin in Enter the Gungeon and it's just kind of like the end screen is like you know you weren't really involved, were you? That's how I feel right now. I mean, the dog, he he is bound to me as in he he follows me, but otherwise he's just his own his own guy. He's just his own guy. Look at this. He just destroying. It doesn't seem like Gunther's leveling up, because normally at the end of the room, Gunther would, um... Gunther would, like, say a voice line and have, have a bit of text appear, so it doesn't seem that way. Um... But I'm not ruling it out. I'm not ruling it out. Maybe he just needs more kills. And we get ourselves a Makarov here? Oh, a Baba Yaga. Um, a pack... Uh, a pocket pistol, bloodied by years of contract killing. Ah, it's the, uh, John Wick one. Um... When its owner quit the trade, this gun was lost to the Gungeon. When reloading, hitting an enemy will steal ammo from them. Hmm. Uh, the ammo is universal. Boss will have full ammo cases stolen from them. Reloading, Reload to melee and loot small ammo boxes out of enemies. Looting bosses grants large ammo boxes. 
Interesting. I mean, this this thing has a very, very, very low amount of ammo, so I think this is mainly a utility weapon more than anything. We probably don't want to use it much, but I, I like the idea. Let's try and uh, figure it out. Ah, oh, the melee is really, really tiny. Okay. It didn't do anything there, but I'm guessing I have to kill him with the melee or something. The melee is kind of small, though. Seems kind of interesting, though. I should be trying to use Macho Brace whenever I can as well with the uh, with the weapon I've got. It's a good boss for Macho Brace, to be honest. But the dog, dog's really doing it. I like the way he's just absolutely blasting. Ooh, we get bundle of wands. I like bundle of wands. Okay, we did get an ammo crate, so I think it did work. I'm not going to show off that yet. I'm saving that for another video. I've got a few things. A few things that I want to save for other videos. Which a lot of you that watch my Gungeon content regularly will have already seen. Uh, but honestly, with the new sort of style of videos and thumbnails we're doing, we're attracting new people all the time. And so I want to be sort of re-showcasing a lot of the stuff that we've seen before. Um, but I like these style of runs where we're giving ourselves some interesting synergy or unique item um, as a way to sort of discover more things. And oh boy, the, the one thing that I'm looking forward to with this is making a thumbnail for this is going to be just the greatest. Also, a bundle of ones is fantastic. Come on, my little fella. I'm just thinking, is there any other ways that I can beef up this, this dog? I bet there's like a synergy I can get for him that would that would beef him up a bit or something. <laughs> but yeah, imagine. Oh, imagine just finding this on a regular run. Oh, it'd be beautiful. Dude, I think it is leveling up, you know. That's it seems to be firing significantly faster than it was before. Like that's way faster, right? So, so maybe it is leveling up. I mean, we'll know eventually cuz it doesn't it get herming at the end. I can't remember if it's her I can't remember if herming's the last upgrade or the one before last, but it, he is definitely reloading and firing significantly faster than he was. So I'm going to say so far, so good. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, you, I cannot describe to you how much joy this brings. I, I just, I actually can't believe we got Gunther. Bullet sponge. It's literally a bullet sponge. Interesting. Can we give him a gun? <laughs> Um, a creature hailing from the um, shores or right surrounding the Gungeon. This bullet sponge is adept at taking nearby materials and expelling them at high speeds. Okay, so I'm guessing it absorbs in bullets and shoots them back out. Which seems pretty useful to me. Anything to block some shots is always going to be nice for us. Come on, my friend. Let us go. Oh, man. The fact that the Gunther has, like, infinite range, too, is kind of absurd. Uh, do you know what? I'm going to grab one curse. I think one curse is always good. Enter to the black market in case we find it. Slightly higher ammo drops. Ooh, my bullet sponge is getting larger. Nice. Oh, and there you go. Then it explodes into like a... A watery, watery mess. I like it. But for now, I'm, I'm just going to be here... Vaguely helping while creating some chickens here and there. But for the most part, I'm very absent. <laughs> this is not my fight. Do you, know, do you know how we've got this John Wick weapon? Do you know how John Wick went crazy because those guys killed his dog? This is the other way around. This is the other way around. This, this dog had its previous owner killed. And it is out for vengeance. The, the last time Hunter lost a run, the dog remembered. And it brought a gun this time. <laughs> it found Gunther down there in the Gungeon. Is it absorbing shots from Gunther, perhaps? Oh my lord. That is the half-gauge shotgun. Ooh, hello. Oh, this is a, this is a trade in here. So we need, we need to trade something for one of these. I don't think I want to trade right now, thank you. Very interested in this, it's only got one shot. Oh my god, okay, it's like... A proper, really tiny spread of shots. I like it. It has a lot of knockback too, so probably not the best thing to use on bosses. Go, my little fella. 
No. I like it though, I like it. It's pretty spicy. This is that other uh, item room? Oh, it is, but we don't have a key. Dude, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. My, my, my sweet little, my sweet little friend. No, don't destroy the chest. I don't know if you can, but please don't attempt to. I am not into that idea. I think I did see a secret room wall in here. Yes, I did. We get the Crisis Stone, which is invincibility while reloading. We also get the Witches. Okay. Is Witches you got given two weapons? Because I've actually... I don't know what I want to give them, to be honest. But you can't not give in to the Witches, so... Oh, no, no. It's just the one. Okay. And we gain some chaos off of the back of that. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Upgrades your weapon one tier, I believe, is how that works. Not the best trade in the world, but decent enough. Right, I'm gonna do this, because I think with Crisis Stone, this thing could be pretty decent. And Macho Ring as well. Oh my, okay. Didn't, didn't really fully account for that now, did I? <laughs> Reload Stone is doing a real good job here. Okay. That didn't go quite to plan. This weapon uh, did some stuff. Ooh, we got a decent weapon here. I think this and Bundle of Wands are going to be my main go-tos here. Right, to the next floor. Let's grab a heart here real quick, though. Come on, my little <laughs> fucking gun-wielding dog. You absolute maniac. Let's go ahead and uh, <laughs> destroy. I can't believe it, because, so, as I said, when I was testing, so the, the first gun that I got was the Plague Pistol, a D-tier weapon. So I was like, okay, it's probably just going to be D-tier weapons. And then the next weapon I got was... I can't remember what, it, what it's called now. Um, the Hammer, I think it was. So I was like, okay, it's not just D-tier. Um, and then I got this. And then, on, on, like, when I recorded the video, I got Gunther, so... Pretty wild. Pretty wild. Thank you for the heart. <laughs> Come on, friend. <laughs> I'm wondering if it's going to level up again, because like I said, his fire rate did go up dramatically, so... Okay, so darkness here is uh, making things a little more tough. Not too bad, though. Go for it, fella. I do believe uh, my my bullet sponge is sucking up Gunther's shots, by the way, because, uh, yeah, there you go. You saw it trigger then. It seems to be triggering quite often, which is very, very nice for us, actually. Very, very nice. Oop, did not see that explosion coming. My bad. Oh my god, the Curse of Darkness is making this pretty tricky. We got a jam chicken. We got a jam chicken. Luckily, my doggy doesn't seem to be too displeased about a jam chicken, so he isn't going absolute ham on it. Excuse me, doggy? Okay, there you are. I thought you got lost then. The darkness, it scares me. I don't want to lose you. Can I still pet you while you have a gun? <laughs> Ooh, we got a cursed shop here. Chance to hex enemies and you. Enemies are best to bullets on death. Bear steal damage to anything. Increased damage and gives you thorns, but you lose health each floor. Ooh, that seems good, but scary. Aha! You know what this is, don't you? I love the way that he barks it, and then he's the one that shoots it. <laughs> Oh, we got flight. Very, very nice. I always thought wax wings had curse associated with them. Where did I get that idea? But yeah, flight's pretty nice. Does my doggy get flight? I hope so. I sure do hope so. Ooh. Yes, please. More curse, but more damage. Also costs a heart container too, but we don't mind that. We don't mind that at all. Shoppeth, what do you have for us? A key, thank you. And then, eh, a bunch of other stuff that I don't really need. Still don't know what this does. I need to I need to work out what's going on with this guy. Um, I will purchase his stuff eventually. 
Oh, we this this guy was a free chest. We didn't need a key for that. Really, really nice that we're getting so many mimics right now. <clears throat> Come on. Honestly, this guess of darkness is kind of difficult in certain situations as well. No, doggy, don't take a don't take a hit. I know that you can't die, but still. I wonder what happens if you do this on something that already has a gun. I wonder if it'll work if you use this item. Because it, it did say it and unarmed, but I am still curious if it'd work. But if you do it with a policeman. Good old chicken. That's why I'm liking this weapon. It's giving us chickens on occasion, which makes things much easier to kill because they die instantly. It's also got a fairly long reload as well, which is actually kind of good for the uh, reload stone that we've got. Very much would like to get out this Curse of Darkness, though. Another Mimic. Wow. Lil Bomber. While not very good right now, it has some synergies that can make it pretty good, so I don't mind having it. Um, probably want to go with the Hegemony Rifle for the boss, but to be fair... I don't think I'm going to be the one doing the main damage to the boss armor, am I? Do it, boy. <laughs> Do it. Destroy him. There's nothing he can do to stop this. <laughs> oh, beautiful. There you go. Get the good old zombie bullets, which are fine, I guess. And we'll head on down to the next floor. Wow, we are we are mopping up right now. I mean, I like I said, I did not expect something like Gunther. I am very curious to just sort of keep rolling this item to see what sort of guns you can get. Because I'm just I'm I'm interested to see if like explosive weapons can be can be gained. Because that would be rather interesting, I think. Come on, my little fella, one moment. Apologies, we are back. Yeah, I'm super curious to see what weapons he can get, because I bet it could get pretty nuts with certain weapons. Especially considering he seems to have a much faster reload and fire rate than is normally plausible with some of these weapons. It doesn't seem that Gunther's going to level up again, by the way. It seems like he's kind of stuck where he is. But I have to say, he seems pretty strong with the Gunther he's got right now. Is that a vampire? That's an ammo vampire. And there's some minecarts in here with some invisible tracks. There's some traps. Let's let our doggy do his thing. Stand back. Let it happen. Oh, I stepped into the trap. And I didn't roll. One second. One second. Apologies, I have to blow my nose really quick. Right, let's get back into this. Oh god. I wasn't I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. I got my reload stern on. Yes, little fella. You've done it for me. This is yet another area that I'll be showing people at some point. Plenty to see down here. Plenty to see. Oh god, I didn't realize that triggered all of the traps at once. Instantly chickened. It'd be, I, I'm interested to know as well, in Gungeon, most of the time your companions gain your bullet effects. Like, they, they, they gain the effects that you have. So I'm curious to see, if we get a bullet modifier, if it'll be applied to our friend here. Because we have zombie bullets right now, but of course, that's ammo based, so we don't really see any results from that. We've had, like, hot lead for fire bullets or something. I'd be curious to see if he would uh, be affected by that. I would imagine so. That's how it normally works in Gungeon. Explosive bullets could be fun. Are you going to kill that chicken, little doggy? Are you going to kill that chicken? Seems like you're sure trying. Got plenty of money to work with here, which is very, very nice. Another one of these vampires. Ooh. That's kind of tricky. Kind of locked me into a corner, though. Ooh. There's a, there's a midgy one. There's a tiny, tiny little baby. That's a new modded enemy. I like them. They're pretty cool. We're right, running out of ammo with this thing here. We do have a Baba Yaga to try and get some more ammo back. Let's um, let's see if we can't get some from one of these guys. Okay, no. He just kills stuff too quick. 
Oh, there's an ammo box. Yeah, I mean, that was only like, what, like 15 ammo, I think? But still, it's cool, it works. Should be doing it against bosses more often, really. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, another key here. Turning things into chickens is very good with jammed enemies. Beautiful stuff. Where art thou chests? Ooh, interesting room layout here. Kind of like it. Looks pretty cool. What we got here? Okay, we got our shop at least. We got plenty of money to work with here. Um, Trasher. Gives 50% chance to obtain an extra piece of junk. Um, other types of junk included at various odds. I mean, it's interesting, I guess. But we're not really getting that much trash for the rest of this run. So, I don't know. Oh, now. Now, I've just had a thought. Dog with a gun is funny. But, but, but Junkin with a gun? <laughs> I guess I'll take it. It doesn't hurt us to have, I guess. Not exactly useful either, but there you go. If we get any junk along the way, we might get some extra junk and then some random types of junk, of which I think there is three types of junk. No, four. There's, there's junk, there's lies, there's the modded glitch junk, and then there's the golden junk. So there's, there's a few different types of junk. I don't think there's any more other than that, from what I know of. There's some ammo just in time before I run out. Thank you. Kill him. Do it. Okay, nice. You gonna bark at this? No, you're not. Good. Hey, we get some creep boots, which is nice. Doesn't help us too much, but thank you nonetheless. Ooh. I saw that as a mimic. And we get ourselves Law Book. And we have a synergy with Law Book, which is level 20 wizard. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so the Law Book is a gun, which is kind of cool. Um, summon brave and noble bullet warriors of several different classes to destroy everything in sight. Um, okay, so I'm, I'm guessing that level 20 wizard means that um, I'm going to spawn wizards out of this book. Yes, I do, I do believe that's what that is. Oh, we got my favorite item. Turtle problem. Turtle problem is a turtle solution to my problems. Oh, there you go. There's the wizard look. So just on occasion, it's going to spawn a wizard that, that fires little fireballs. It seems like a really good weapon for us. Really good. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool weapon, I've got to say. Is this the boss? I think this is the boss, isn't it? Yep. Okay. Let us go, beautiful dog. Oh, really? He went away straight away. Hopefully, we'll fire a good amount of wizards here. It does seem that the wizards are kind of rare. It's not like a super common thing. But I, I think basically what it's doing is it can spawn all sorts of stuff normally. So the, the, the rate of it spawning wizards is exactly the same. But I think the wizards are made stronger by the synergy is what's happening. Okay, good. Dog, I'll leave you to finish him. I'll pet you as well while we finish off this fight. It's funny that I can pet him while he's, uh, while he's shooting, basically. Wait, while I'm flying, I don't seem to be able to pet him. That's a travesty. I also see you as well there. Dog wasn't quite as sure about that being a mimic. But it's dead all the same. Or it will be. There you go. We get the JK. A sad JK. We get the, the violence as well, which I like. Right, we'll stick with the um, the law book. I'm, I'm quite liking it right now. Let's go ahead. Come on, my doggy. You can you can beat out the rest of this run. I believe in you. I truly do believe in you. I think you could do this on your own. I think the only thing you couldn't do is maybe find your way. I'm essentially just leading you to the dragon so that you can kill it because I'm not going to be very much involved. You are very much going to be the sole contributor here. Um, we probably want to keep this as backup here. 
use our law book for bigger rooms with bigger enemies sort of thing. Don't think we want to use the law book all the time. So it doesn't have a ton of ammo to work with. Luckily this is a floor of bigger rooms and bigger enemies, so there is going to be plenty of opportunity to use it still. I love having flight. Is he dead? He is dead, good. He's firing my magic straight back at me. Ooh, here we go. Here's Law Book. The Bullet Banker. An interesting modded mini boss here. Luckily, mini bosses do not have boss armor, so it will go down very, very quickly. Look at all those mages. Look at them go. Plus our, our Gunther boy. Oh, man. Yeah, that was pretty splendid. And we get ourselves the lead key, which is red key from the Binding of Isaac in Gungeon. Another item that I will probably do a showcase run of at some point. But it can take you to random rooms like this. And it'll be combat rooms, item rooms, shops, all sorts of different stuff. But that, that's another item that I'll probably showcase um, in the future. Unfortunately, as you can see, there is one slight visual bug with it. There's a little bit of blare on the screen now. I don't know if we can get rid of. I think it'll go when we go to the next floor. For now, we'll just hold this and uh, see how this goes. Hello, hello. We got some keys that we don't really need. Okay. Okay, let's go. Yeah, I think there is a way to fix it with, with various methods of teleporting, but I can't remember what it is now. Like, I think if we go all the way off the map over here, we'll be able to find our room. There it is. And up, oh, that's just a collection of random sprites. It's somewhere around here. The lead key rooms do spawn somewhere around. I can't find it. But it does spawn off the map somewhere, like Red Key does. And you can teleport back to it at any point. My god, we got a lot of turtles helping us as well here. Okay, now. Now. Do we reckon we can give turtles a gun? Because <laughs> that would be pretty interesting also. That would be pretty interesting as well. Right, we'll lead key again here. Didn't find much there either, unfortunately. Okay, we've got a turkey. Turkeys are um, from Expand the Gungeon. They are a little enemy that walks around, and when you kill them, they give ammo. Kind of nice. You can also find raccoons that drop, um, that drop junk as well. Both of which were my suggestions, and I'm really happy they made it into the mod. It's very cool. Well, I can't remember if both of them were. Definitely the turkey was. I can't remember if the uh, if the raccoon was. It feels like it was, but it might have just been something that me and um, me and Apache, the developer of the mod, came up with together. I don't want to steal credit. Apache is the uh, the main creator of the mod, and behind most of the, if not all of the, genius of the mod. <laughs> I'd say I'd say most of. No, just 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 all of. Ooh, Polaris. Polaris is kind of an interesting idea. Basically, it's a weapon that levels up as we get kills with it, but we don't really have to use other weapons now, so... And I think... I think our familiar killing stuff, our dog, will actually count towards leveling up. Also, look at all our turtles. Will actually count towards leveling up our Polaris. If we get hit, though, it does de-level. If we switch weapons, it does de-level, so... You've got to be careful when you're using this, but I think this is a perfect run. Uh, opportunity to be able to use this effectively, so I'm going to do exactly that. Right. Also, we will definitely be going bullet hell because it's been a reasonably quick run, I think. Yeah, I'll see if I can figure out a fix for the lead key. I'm not going to use it too much more on this run, I just wanted to show it off a little bit. And I'll do a showcase video on it um, in a future run. I think that'd be a pretty fun one. And also, um, I think it's 
The, those ones where I can relate it back to Isaac are always fun because people, the Isaac viewers typically that don't really watch Gungeon, you can pique their interest a little bit potentially. Yeah, just so many turtles. There you go. We're up to level two on the Polaris now. Having flight here is helping. Small enemies like that are great because it's about enemies killed, not about damage dealt. Look at this little fella. Sitting atop his throne. Aha, my bullet sponge ate that entire sniper shot though. That's pretty awesome. Good. Bit of armor. Lovely. And bloody 9mm. A pretty nice item there. Every now and again, our shots have a chance of being replaced with a bloody 9mm shot that will bounce around the room at high speeds. Piercing. High damage. It's very good. Antibody. I believe that's just increased healing. Nothing too special there. Right. Let's do the boss. You go, my pretty. Okay, he does have piercing now. He didn't have piercing before. So he's definitely leveled up somewhat. Oh wait, does he have piercing or just some shots have piercing? I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. My turtles will kill most of that. Good, good, good. Let him do his thing. Luckily, he seems to just aggro from any range, so we don't really have to worry about him not hitting things. There's a bloody 9mm shot there. And another one. Good, good. Next phase. Now, can you actually accurately shoot at the heart, my little doggy friend? That is a question we all have. Because I'm going to suspect... Probably not. Oh, my uh, my bullet sponge is having a real good time here. He actually does slightly blank the bullets as well. Like He, he sort of blocks them. Okay, he's shooting the heart right now. That's good. Although not enough to uh, get a one cycle here, I don't think. Yeah. Not quite enough, my good lad. Not quite enough. Good. There you go. <laughs> he just keeps firing. He can never stop. Look at the amount of casings on the floor. There's just these absolutely gargantuan piles. And of course we unlocked the dog gun. What the hell's the dog gun? My goodness. Do you know what? One second. Okay, I gave myself the dog gun because it just seems appropriate for this run. Oh god. Okay, so hopefully on the next floor, we should get rid of that little bit of blur, I'm hoping. If not, I, I genuinely don't know what's going on with it, and I'll speak to the developer promptly. Um, but, it's not too bothersome, or at least I hope it's not. And we can take a look at little old bullet hell here and use the dog gun, which I'm... Curious to see how it functions, because I, I can't remember I've used it before. Okay, yes, it is gone. It just fires a bouncy dog. Okay. Dog with gun. Dog projectiles. I think this is a pretty good combo. On occasion, it'll fire a bloody 9mm as well. I love the fact that it's so bouncy. <laughs> Ammo refill on the dog gun. <laughs> I've got a dog with a gun, and a gun with a dog. Truly beautiful. Something to behold. It seems to have very, very strong herming. My god. <laughs> this is beautiful. Honestly, with the, with the um, Gunther, he's just annihilating rooms right now. Oh, he dug me up something as well. Thank you. <laughs> kind of forgot he could do that. Cut my little doggies. 
Yep, Creech, who had no chance. Ooh, more ammo, thank you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh. And, dude, the ammo. The ammo is coming in hot. Annoying room here, but... A doggy. Actually, let's try and spawn him on the middle middle platform. There you go. Dog's in the middle platform. Now he can take care of everything for us. Oh, shit. There's enemies up here. I didn't realize. No. What the hell's this? Ugh. We've got Curse of Butterfingers on right now. Whenever we get hit, we throw our weapon. One of the worst curses to ever be created in any game ever. And I hate never named for not removing it from the game. Even though apparently it was my idea at one point. But I, I, I stand to disbelieve that. And I will forever hate it. Okay. Things are going well thus far. We got our boss. Doggy. Come along now. Good old Shellorax. Shellorax is about to get beaten upon. By my doggy. <laughs> oh man. He's got two health bars, so he's not even nearly dead yet. But, as I, as I said before, mini bosses don't have boss armor. They go down pretty quick to any strong weapon. Oh, I, I threw my dog gun again. Wondering what was going on. There you go. It's on the floor there, look. Luckily, this guy drops a good amount of loot. So, as mini bosses go, he's pretty nice. Heart container there. Apparently, these heart containers have been given new abilities. Um, God's heart container, save two heart machines. Okay. Yeah, all these heart containers have been given extra passive abilities, which is really nice, because normally they're pretty boring. Ow. Again, I threw it. Stop throwing the gun. I want to keep it. Be very, very careful about being hit. Be good. Oh, there's some health in here that I didn't get. Did I get hit three times in that room? Wow. What did you steal? Oh, ammo. Okay. It's fine. I didn't need the ammo, so that's okay. <laughs> the bouncy dogs are just amazing. Bouncing, homing dogs. Nothing beats it. What's better than this? Luckily, the dogs kind of persist between waves of enemies as well. Kind of bounce around and keep doing their thing. Beautiful. Top me up. Thank you. This seems to be the right way. What is going on in this room? Oh, my lord. Again, don't know where the dog gun went. There it is. As if we got Chaos of Butterfingers on this floor of all floors. We good? No, we are not good. Some spiders. We got one at you. There's all sorts going on right now. We good? Nope. Oh my god, this is a long, this is a long, long room. Oh, he's very focused on that thing behind the wall here. So let's go take into uh, to take care of that. We good? Okay, now we're good. It was a little bit tricky. A little bit of a long room there. He gets very focused on one enemy, doesn't he? He likes enemies that are traps as well. There we go. Beautiful. You cannot best him. He cannot be beaten. Unfortunately, our turtles have taken a bit of a... A bit of a pummeling. Their numbers are few. Their numbers are very few. Right. Probably want to use a bit of a different weapon now, actually. I don't know, though, because the things that we're using are pr like the, it's, it's, it's pretty good. 
I think this thing is a reload stone's pretty good. But it's gone. I dropped it. Yeah, this weapon's not very good without, like, some increase to accuracy, I don't think. Okay, we're on the last leg now, so... Oh my god, throwing my weapon again. Um, dog gun, we'll grab some ammo for you. Is Polaris worth using in here, maybe? Just see if we can level it up. A lot of enemies to work with, potentially we could level it up. Yeah, there you go, got it to level 2. Think it's worth it at level 2? Okay, one wrong way. Two wrong ways, or this is going to be the boss? Polaris will be pretty good for the boss if we can keep it leveled. But that's a big if. That's a big if. Oh, yeah, there you go. And not only leveled it down, but I threw it too. Maybe the law book's going to be good for the boss. Ah, damn it, went the wrong way both times here. Interesting room. We've got plenty of hearts, plenty of blanks to work with here, so we should be okay. Oh, we, we, don't, we have flight. We don't need to worry about that. My dog's having a hard time shooting these guys because they're locations. Right, this is the boss. No, next one's the boss. And yeah, as I said, we'll use Law Book. Put in my dog gun again. Ah, oh, and the AK has gone into the pit. It hasn't actually, but... Lost more health there than, I was, than I'd like to admit. Kind of wasn't ready for that. Another blank there. Right, Law Book. We are somewhat ready. I am going to quickly... Quickly jump back to the start and uh, grab any health from the machine. Okay, there wasn't much. Better than nothing there. Right, go my pretty, go. Ah, oh, really? Not only that, but it throws my book. Do not throw my book. Right, he is dead. This has gone beautifully. I I have to say, giving your dog a gun, always, always a good time. Especially if it's Gunther. If it's Gunther, we're onto a winner. Oh my god, how did I not get hit there? Okay, I finally got hit. Oh, stop dropping the goddamn book. So frustrating. Also, I'm not spawning anywhere near as many mages as I was hoping I would. Right, if I drop the book on this area, it's going to be game over. I don't know where it's going to go. Yeah, there should be way more mages than this. Oh, there you go. We've got two in a row there. Three, four. Okay, that, that, that's that's what I'm looking for right there. Yeah, I don't like the rocket. Thank you. I love the way it blanks his limbs. <laughs> Finish the job, dog. There you go. What a beautiful run. What an insane item. I hope you guys did enjoy. That was just truly joyous. And yeah, if you guys have any other Gungeon modded item synergy weirdness you want me to check out, let me know and I'll check them out in future episodes either way. I hope you guys did enjoy. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.